So I've recreated Ron Swanson's Pawnee Ranger Handbook. Be a man. So all we got to do is add a little bit of girth to this with some blank pages and then sew it together. For the text block we're using regular old printer paper because that's what um, is used in the show. So we're going to kind of recreate that. So the first thing to do is to take this big old stack. Oh, that was salty. One page at a time and fold them in half. And that is one leaflet. And when you're folding paper, you just line up the edges, set it down, and apply pressure so that it doesn't move, and then take your thumbs. You always start in the middle, bring it down to the center, and go across. And that will ensure a clean fold. Now that we have all our leaflets folded, we have to make signatures. So you're going to take each page, open it up, and then whoop, put the next page inside of it, put the next page inside of it, like that. And that is a gathering or a signature. And you can make it as big as you want. Um, you want to make it at least... Now, depending on the paper you're using, like four to six leaflets per signature, just so it's strong enough to hold the thread that, so it doesn't tear right through it. I'm probably going to do eight or ten. I want them a little bit thicker in this one. So, yeah, we'll put those gatherings together. So the more leaflets that you add to your signature, the more prominent this is going to be um, because the thickness of the paper is pushing out each one to the middle so they end up with this little zigzag pattern on the end. Now you can leave that alone um, and give it kind of a rustic feel depending on the paper you're using again. Um, but the problem is that it doesn't, you can't flip through the book very easily because it kind of just skips after you get to the center of the center of the signature. Um, so after you get your text block together, you can cut that off or you can leave it alone. Up to you. Now instead of a little pamphlet, we've got almost a real book with one word in it. It says, be a man. <laughs> so when you're making a book, um, get it all printed out you're going to need um, one leaflet in front. So this is going to end up being your fly sheet. Then you have your cover page. Then you have your first sheet. Um, so you always have, you don't necessarily have to have a fly sheet, but it's traditional. And then when we sew this all together, we'll, we'll add on another sheet as a paste down. So we'll get to that. But uh, now we need to do the layout for the holes and sew this text block together. Once you've got your text block all laid out with all your signatures, then you can lay out your pattern for your stitching. Now there's lots of different ways to stitch this together. Um, just look up a, whichever one you think is, looks cool, because it really doesn't matter. So I'm going to stitch this together with a little bit of webbing, and uh, then we can start making the cover. So we've got the text block all sewn up with um, two pieces of webbing. This is just um, some linen canvas because I have extra of that. And then I used wax linen thread to sew it all together because, again, I had some. Uh, you don't necessarily have to use that. The wax on the string helps the knot stay tight as you're sewing, so that's nice. Um, and it just happened to be linen. You can use cotton thread or whatever you got. It doesn't matter. Um, or polyester. But... I did a, so I did a French link stitch 
in the center and then I finished it on the edges with a kettle stitch um, and there's a bunch of really good tutorials online of how to do different stitches this doesn't necessarily have to be your book um, it's just an easy quick one to do there's lots of different stitches and lots of different methods of sewing the text box together but uh, the webbing is important because this is what attaches the text block to the cover we'll put a little glue on here to bind it all together and then we will put in I don't know if I'm gonna put in a headband I mean I could I mean all headbands these days are fake anyway but it's kinda of fun to do but it's a it's quite a bit of work to put in a headband I don't know if I want to do that anyway um, yeah so here is the gorgeous beaver pelt we're using to cover this book and it's not quite big enough to do what I'd like to originally um, I wanted to go all the way inside of the cover come out with it with the fur come around wrap around all the way so it would look like something let me just show you this wrap it around like that and then wrap it around the book and then wrap it around again all the way inside the cover right so it was like that so that the inside of the paste down was also fur but it's not long enough to do that we're gonna scrap that idea and instead we're gonna make a cover out of foam core wrap it in book cloth and then put um, just a single wrap of fur around the outside so that's gonna look nice so let's do that now so I've got the text box traced out on this piece of foam core and I'm adding a kind of a gutter 0.2 um, centimeters or 2 millimeters all the way around except for on the spine side a little bit of an overhang for the cover and then we're going to wrap this in book cloth And typically you would use um, what's called book board for this step of the project uh, which is basically just a really thick super dense cardboard um, but I'm all out of that right now so we're using this instead Now this is a book cloth. It's basically just um, a thin sheet of paper that's glued onto a piece of fabric and um, you use this for your paste down. So we're going to do the same thing. Trace out the size of the book that we have. And in this instance I'm doing it a little bit non-traditional where I'm going to wrap the paste down around the front of the cover instead of the cover material wrapping around to the inside of the book so I'm doing a little bit of backwards but I think it will look nice in the end that's better okay so I did um, mess up on this a little bit well not necessarily messed up but the traditional way typically on the first and last signature um, you would glue down your paste down around and inside of the signature and then put it in there so that the paste down is inside of the book inside of these webbings because your cover is going to go like this right and you can um, you can cut holes through your cover and bring these to the outside like this which is fine but then even then so your cover is like this. These are glued down and then you need your paste down to be inside here in between the webbing and the signature and then glue that down. So to get around that all we're going to do is slice a little slit for the webbing to go through and then wrap it around the whole thing and glue it onto the, um, the text block. It's not that important because the webbing is providing the strength 
and holding the cover onto the text block. It's just to make the transition from the fly sheet to the cover um, kind of seamless. So, kind of messed that up, but whatever. We're going to have a little bit of a stitch issue there. <clears throat> so I'm going to take this and mark out where my webbings are. Like I said, it's not necessarily a wrong way to do it, just not the traditional way. You can make your book however you want. Like I always hear people say, oh I've been doing this trade, whatever it may be, for, for 25 years. It's like, well that's fine, just because you've been doing something a long time doesn't mean you've been doing it necessarily the right way. Which is kind of counter of what I just said, right? But just because you've been doing something that, for a long time doesn't mean you've been doing it correctly. I don't know. So all we're going to do right here, we're just going to slit that on both sides for the webbing to go through. And we will glue that onto our text block. And we don't need all of that. So the glue I'm using is this pH neutral PVA um, glue ideal for book binding. Uh, I got this for Christmas. This glue is pretty expensive. You don't necessarily have to go out and buy this to do a project like this. You can use regular Elmer's glue or, <coughs> or even wood glue. Uh, any PVA glue would work. The only issue is the moisture content in other glues like that will often cause your parts to wrinkle, buckle, and do weird things. So this glue is really nice and works well for this application. Um, but like I said, you don't you can get away with using other materials. So now our webbing is outside of that. So then this whole thing gets glued onto the cover, right? And then this is the inside of your book. So that's pasted. This is your paste down and then your fly sheet. And then the only thing you see, you're not gonna see that because that's gonna get glued on tight, but there'll be a, a seam here, a crease, and uh, that'll look really nice. The only thing I will say about this though, if you happen to have some book cloth or something similar to it, be very careful not to get glue on the colored side um, anywhere that you'll see it because you definitely will see any drop of glue that you have on there. If you <clears throat> if you mess up, I need a for this step, um, we're gonna glue all the signatures together, and you're supposed to put this in a book press during this step to smash all those pieces together. But I'm gonna do that after. I'm just gonna do everything all all together. I'm gonna glue all these together. I'm gonna put the paste down in place and then clamp it and shove it all together. And this adds a lot of structure and stability to the spine and makes it last a long time. But you don't, just like the book cloth, you don't want to get any clue where you don't want it, where you're going to see it. You don't want Okay, that should do that. I'm going to go put this under pressure to let it dry and then we'll come back in the morning.
Oh, 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 oh,